It's Diamond King's card there. Nolan Ryan. There you go. All-time great pitcher, Nolan Ryan. Hey there, y'all. Paul Uncle here. Hope you've been having a great day. Hope every day is a blessed day to you and y'all. So I got here this little stack of packs. These are 1987 Donruss Baseball. Lots and lots of cool stuff can be found in there. Hall of Famers, all-time greats. I mean, you're talking about Barry Bonds rookie, Bo Jackson rookie, Will Clark rookie. Uh, who else? Uh, Maguire rookie, Big Mac, very cool. Uh, Nolan Ryan, who... Tons and tons and tons of other great players could be possibly found in these. Now, I got six packs here. Ooh, got six packs. So, very cool there. Let's get ripping. Let's see what we can find in these. Now, these are a little bit ratty. I opened some of these packs from this mixed, pack, mixed box before and definitely had some great hits. Uh, already found a Barry rookie. I mean, sure, it's not... Not, I, I'd say not in gradable PSA 10 condition, but still, it's a cool find. I mean, back in the day, it would have been a great find. Even now, it's still pretty cool to find. I, I'd say very nice for somebody who's trying to put together an 87 set. I, I wouldn't mind doing it myself. I am. Anyway, let's just get open the packs here. I want to see some cards. See who's in here. I see. We're starting off with Devon White. Okay, that's in the back of the pack. All right, who we got there? We got the lower left-hand corner of the Donruss Hall. Okay. Dave Svum. Jerry Hairston. Ernest Riles. Ernie Ozzie Smith, Hall of Famer there. He'll go up on my Wall of Fame. Jeff Reardon. Gus Polidor. Kelly Gruba. It's not Hans Gruber from that... Uh, Die Hard series, is it? No, I don't think so. Ron Robinson. Dude, a derpy look you throw in the ball. Dennis Rasmussen. Mike Maddox sneering at the batter. That's a sneer if I've ever seen one. Phil Lombardi, catcher and designated hitter. Andres Thomas. Oh, I see a B there. John Stefaro. Bo Jackson, rookie. Very nice. Uh, not very, very nicely centered, but I mean, otherwise, the condition looks really good on that one. That's a nice one. And Devon White, rated rookie. So, very cool. We got two of them for frappers. I'm going to put the Bo Jackson into a top load also. I mean, at best, looking at the centering there, you know what? If that got sent in for grading, you know the best that it would get would be a 9. Uh, definitely not a 10 based on that centering. But still, nice card altogether, that's for sure. Very cool. He'll go front and center. And the Ozzy Smith, Wizard of Oz, Diamond Kings card. Now, that's even worse cut than the other one. So, that's worse cut than the bow. All right. Let's get pack number two going here. I like when I get packs, even if they're a little bit crusty, dusty, that, you know what? You know for sure that they have never been opened. So, that, that that's a nice thing. Because a lot of these packs from this generation have been opened and... Stuff gone through and all of that. You know, people do what they do for whatever reason they do it. Got Ken Lendro, Tom Needenfuhr, Mario Soto, George Frazier. No, not the boxer. You know, he looks like he might have gotten decked once or twice. Harold Baines, Hall of Famer. Another Hall of Famer there. Rick Dempsey, Bruce Fields, Toby Hara. Pocket. All right. Very nice Diamond Kings card there. Nolan Ryan. There you go. All-time great pitcher, Nolan Ryan. Fantastic there. Gino Petralli, Bob Brenly, Ron Kittle. He was supposed to have been great if he didn't hurt his back. Joe Necro and Steve Garvey. Now, I, I think many people could put in a claim, a fight, or whatever. Hall of Fame should be. He's actually running for, what is it, Congress or Senate or, yeah, I believe Senate in California. Is it Senate or Congress? I don't know. One of those two. All right, let's get the Nolan into a frapper. Now, it's got a little bit of a, looks like a dinghy up in the corner. I'll have to take a better look at that later, but he'll just go into a frapper. All right, we got the pocket. We'll put the Diamond Kings by the Diamond Kings. 
Now, the black borders on these definitely make them a tougher grade, kind of like the 86 tops. So, I mean, it's one of those things to consider. When you're submitting for grading, you want to make sure that those edges are clean and, you know, no kind of white marks or anything like that. I'm learning a lot more about what they look for in grading. And you know what? Some of it should probably be obvious. PSA actually has something that, that's going to be pretty cool going soon, from what I understand. I was listening to an interview uh, from, I forget, the president or CEO of PSA, that they're going to start including uh, graders' notes, which I, I, th I think that's going to be a great thing because it's going to help us who open packs of cards and seed cards and everything else really get an idea as far as, okay, well, this was graded a 9 because of this flaw or that flaw or an 8 because of this or that. I mean, it'll help us get a lot better of a perspective what we're looking for when, or what we might have overlooked that we could just say, oh, we missed that. Anyway, puzzle card there with the NTE from Clemente. All right, we're seeing Jesse Barfield, Jerry Naren, Chris Brown, Tim Burke, Brian Downing, Rick Leach, Eddie Milner, Mike Pags Pagliarillo, Louis Aquino, Wayne Tollison, Bob Horner, great slugger. Him and Del Murphy, they were major, major hitters on the Braves. I mean, Bob Horner, you could you could definitely, I don't think you could argue a Hall of Fame career, but definitely a great hitter. Murphy, on the other hand, absolutely great hitter and all-around all great player. But without, with, uh, without Horner, Murphy might not have been Murphy Murphy. Anyway, one of my favorites there. Got Pat Tabler, Jim Presley. Chris James, okay, well, that's a different Chris James than another Chris James. No, the other one was Chris Brown, wasn't it? And Mark Clear. All right. We're done with three packs so far. The Wall of Fame's looking pretty pretty good, I'd say. <clears throat> oh, sorry about that. Bit of an allergy day here in Jersey today. I mean, as we're getting towards the end of April when I'm recording this and into May, uh, definitely allergy season here. I'll be sniffling. All right, we got a Clemente Chin. All right, Jose Uribe, Bill Mooneyham, Sammy Stewart, Buddy Biancala, Kalanana, Kalanana, Chris Spire, Floyd Yeomans. Uh, yeah, he's like really struggling to get that pitch out. Kurt Stillwell, Jim Pankovitz, Charlie Huff, pitch for like 3,000 years. Lee Lacey in the outfield, Hubie Brooks, Rafael Santana, Rick Roden, Steve Farr, and Doyle Alexander. Not much in that pack at all. That would have been a disappointing pack. It, it, it would have been a disappointing pack back then. Not the best pack now either. I mean, that's for sure. Not every pack's a winner. All right, next one. I mean, if you look at it from... From a different point of view, though, every pack's a winner, especially, I guess, the the looking back at baseball history and they realizing that all of these were major leaguers. They all pitched, they all played, they all did something that's part of the game that uh, lots and lots and lots of people love. All right, we got Clemente's bat. That's not an autograph bat. Nope. No autograph cards in these packs. John Stefero. Well, we got a Palmero rookie. I mean, you know what? He testified to Congress. We'll, we'll put him up on the wall anyway. Ray Soft, he will. He lied to Congress, but another story altogether there. Why Congress was even investigating, it's kind of stupid. Tim Stoddard, Bobby Ojeda, Darnell Coles, Andy Allenson, Marvin Freeman, John Ceruti, Todd Worrell. Up, oh, up, oh, getting some slippage there. Mike Felder. Rick Dempsey, Mike Scott, Mike Young, and Charlie Hudson. All right, we'll get the Palmero. And a frapper. I mean, he had a really good career as it was. I mean, he got involved in some stuff and other stuff and those kinds of stuffs from, you know, the 80s and 90s. Lots and lots of players did. And, I mean, the managers knew, the coaches knew, the... The league knew, and they, they, I think they really promoted it, but that's just my opinion there. And then when when it wasn't needed anymore, or, you know, fans were coming back, they said, uh, you know what, let's investigate it, and we're going to get rid of these people. Anyway. 
Now right, we got Clemente Face, last pack here. So I just want to thank y'all for watching, commenting, subscribing, thumbs up, and all of that great stuff. All right, I'm seeing Corey Snyder, Jeff Leonard, Alfredo Griffin, Gary Gaetti. All right, I'd say all-time Twins, very good player. Maybe not great, but a very good player. Him and Kent Herbeck, uh, I mean, legends for Minnesota. Steve Lake, Jerry Brown. Ah, Chris Brown. Okay, got Chris Brown again. Tim Burke. Brian Downing. Rick Leach. Eddie Milner. Oh, Rick Leach is falling down on the job there. Eddie Milner. Mickey Brantley. Just got a face like wondering what he's doing there. Eddie, why are you taking a picture of me, man? Jose Gonzalez. Pat Clements. And Frank White wrapping this up. Whoop, dads. Look at that. Bad, bad centering, top to bottom, left to right, all around the place. So, anyway, six packs, I'd say not all that shabby. The Bo Jackson, I'd say, was the highlight. I mean, it's a nice Nolan Ryan, good Harold Baines. Uh, the Wizard of Oz and Kirby Puckett Diamond Kings, definitely some great cards. But this Bo Jackson, I'd say, that's, that's the chicken dinner winner. That's my opinion. Anyway, if there's anybody that you would have put up on your wall of fame that I didn't put up on mine, let me know down there in the comments. Anyway, y'all take care. Stay well. Stay blessed. Bunkle out.